Have you ever lived a life? Living right is key to rise. This is now in seven minutes. Welcome everybody. Now in seven minutes, my name is Austin, and we come to you every Monday at seven p.m. only for seven minutes. And before I begin, let me wish all of you a happy, blessed, and Christ-centered New Year. And what a subject to start this year, twenty twenty-two. Do not worry this year. Please remember that worry is not something that the Bible talks about. Being anxious is not something that the Bible talks about. In fact, the Bible discourages God's children to get worried or to be anxious. But wait a minute. How do we do that? How do we not get anxious? How do we stop worrying? So what does the Bible mean by stop worrying? When Bible says do not worry, it actually means that nothing should nothing should mean to you as a very difficult or impossible task in your life. Why? Because you have kept Christ as the king of your life. So Bible says with God all things are possible. It's also said everything is possible for him who believes so when i read these scriptures it gives me a clear indicator that i therefore should not worry let's see exclusively what jesus says according to matthew chapter 6 matthew chapter 6 one minute Okay, just just setting my stopwatch. So Matthew chapter six. I would like to read Matthew chapter six, verse twenty um, five onwards. I'm going to read it really quick. So try to catch up with me. It says, "Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing?" Then it goes on verse twenty six. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? This is this question is for me and for every one of you who are worried. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I say to you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Was thirty. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O、oh, you of little faith? So the, the in other words, I'm I'm just stopping over here for a second. It says, O、oh, you of little faith. That means. The the Lord Jesus is saying those who worry have got little faith. That's why they worry. Think about it. So how do I get faith? Faith cometh from hearing, and hearing God's word. Faith is the substance of things hoped, and the evidence of things not seen. Faith, um, uh, you know, without faith it is impossible to please God. But it goes on to say, verse thirty one. Therefore, do not worry. Saying, "What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear?" Now, I want to add something over here. So, Jesus in those times was telling people, "What should you wear? What should people? People were worried. What will eat tomorrow? There is no food. There is nothing to、uh, think about." But God is saying that you got to trust in Him. This year, twenty twenty two, you got to trust in the Lord so much. That it will not make you worried. It says, "For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But now, here's the key. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about its own things. Do not worry about this year." Just do what Jesus is telling you to do. What He's telling you to do this year. Tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day 
sufficient for the day is its own trouble so beloved i want to tell you the key jesus saying but seek first the kingdom of god what does it mean seek first the kingdom of god so you should not worry about anything why because you are a person who's a seeker in the kingdom of god what do you seek in the kingdom of god you seek the kingdom principles you read the kingdom principles you practice the kingdom principles what are the kin kingdom principles work hard what are the kingdom principles uh, attain godly wisdom psalms 1 says that do not walk in the counsel of the wicked or sin in the seat of stand the way of sinners these are kingdom principles why do you worry because you do not keep the kingdom principles first in your life I'm telling you, when Jesus says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God," seek ye first the kingdom principles. You know, you know, uh, Proverbs three, five, six says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart; lean not on your understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will straighten your path." That is a kingdom principle. Do not steal. Do not bribe. Uh, do not uh, use corrupt lips. Keep your body holy, because the Holy Spirit dwells in. These are all kingdom principles. And then it goes on to say that they, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness is very important. There's a separate chapter in Hebrews that talks about the hall of uh, fame, the people who were called out for their righteous acts, for their faith. The righteous shall live by faith, friends. So not only you need to. Uh, at one hand, you need to um, practice the kingdom principles, but on the other hand, you have to also seek God's righteousness. Is being true to yourself? Is uh, is living by faith? Not only on one day, but every day I get up in the morning, I live by faith, Lord. I live by faith. I don't live by sight. I live by faith, Lord. I'm going to do things. That you want me to do first, basic principle, kingdom principle, and second, I will believe by faith. Abraham was credited to him as righteousness. Why? Because he believed God. So what you got to do? You got to believe God. You got to believe that God will be your God for twenty twenty two. Believe in God through faith in Christ Jesus. So, if you love Christ Jesus, you have to believe in Him. And if you believe in someone, at some point of this year, you have to prove it. You will get a chance to prove it at some point of the year. So, I want to encourage you today: Do not worry this year. So, you may say, "What am I? What should I do?" Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. and god will be your provider he will be faithful as always let me pray for you father i thank you for this wonderful time lord and you are reminding us do not worry especially for this year i ask you lord that every single person who joined in lord that you will touch their heart lord you will speak to them lord you will reassure them that you are a god as always God of our lives, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you will teach all of us this year to seek your kingdom principles and your righteousness, to seek the kingdom of God. Thank you once again for this time, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, praise in Jesus' name. I make this prayer. Amen. And God bless you all. Have a blessed year ahead, and don't forget, be a seeker of the kingdom principles. and the righteousness of god this year god will be your provider may the lord bless you this is now in 7 minutes